You need to understand that KGB from the early beginning was business institution, making money. I describe how they use, for example, people of Jewish descent who went to Israel and the United States in immigration for collecting money. They will not allow you to go to United States as refugee, Jewish refugee, without paying, without agreeing to collaborate with uh, KGB. Uh, I present in my book seven. It, it's all. It's you can find this in the now open archives. It's not a secret anymore. Uh, for example, uh, they collected money from those Jewish families uh, who lived in Canada and you and the United especially United States who died and you need to manage their um, inheritance, you know, inheritance their money. So they try to find their relatives. They found these relatives in Kiev, Dnipro, Lviv, or in somewhere in Ukraine, what KGB did. They contacted this family in Ukraine, recruited members of this family as their active agents, and they found plenty of files of these guys, Jewish guys, for collecting money from their relatives. Because you, you are not supposed to have American dollars or Canadian dollars in Soviet Ukraine. So this money came to coffers of KGB. And of course, they shared uh, their money with these Jewish guys, with these members of the family. Um, but majority of these funds from United States and Canada came to KGB.